Incidents of a Wally. One. Most people Pops' age could tell you where they were the day President Kennedy was assassinated. Pops was in an ambulance being rushed to hospital after careering into the back of a parked car. In the hospital, the police asked him how it happened, but Pops said he couldn't remember. Concussion. It had happened when the kids from all the three schools on Mighton Road were let out at the same time at four o'clock. The police asked for witnesses in the assemblies of all three schools. Some girls said, not from his school, that he was on his bike, looking behind him, gesturing and shouting things at them, and he didn't see the parked car. Some people said Pops was accident prone, but Pops knows he was just a wally. Two. A car door opened and Pops, not looking where he was going, rode straight into it and somersaulted over the top. The judges gave him 9.5. Three. Pops knew the front light on his bike wasn't working properly, but hadn't got the sense to do anything about it. A car overtaking him at night crashed into him. His handlebars went into his liver and spleen and he broke his arm. The surgeon told his parents to prepare for the worst. He survived, but was off work for 18 months. 4. Pops drove the work minibus too fast in the snow, crashed and destroyed a telegraph pole. 5. Pops did a ton in his boss's wife's MG, showing off to the couple of his mates. He was spotted by his boss's friends, and as it was the last in a list of stupid things, Pops got the sack. 6. Pops drove his tractor too fast round a bend, and the silage trailer, full of tons of grass, tipped over. 7. Pops drove the farmer's tipper truck too fast, and ended up in the back of the contractor's combine harvester. 8. Pops turned right without looking when driving the big ploughmaster tractor and a passing car bounced off the big tractor wheels. 9. The article in the local paper said, Mr Orange said it was safer to drive on the pavement than on the road. Noticing a policeman on the other side of the road, he gave him a friendly wave. Pops was in a hurry and parked on the pavement so he could jump out, run into the shop, buy an LP bridge over troubled water for his gorgeous new girlfriend Nana. Number 10. Pops drove his Morris Minor with go faster Pirelli tyres too fast round a bend and collided with a car whose occupants included three policemen. 11. And finally Pops took Nana on a date for a nice drive in his Morris with go faster Pirelli tyres when a sports car overtook them. Pops, Pops took up the challenge accelerated, thinking that if he took a shortcut, he'd be able to get in front of the bloke who had dared to overtake Pops Mas Morris with his go-faster Pirelli tyres. But Nana had had enough. She leaned over and removed the ignition key. The Morris shuddered to a halt. Are you really a Christian, Dave? Because sometimes you don't act like one. Pops was embarrassed. Sorry, Pen, it won't happen again. And it didn't. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favour from the Lord. Proverbs 18 verse 22. Now Pops was leading a team driving a 40 foot, 30 ton truck across Siberia. God's delight is to make wallies into new creations and so sure is he of his work that he gives them the honour and privilege to serve him. Pops loves God very much. The truck had been stuck in the mud for two days. Even with the snow chains on, they weren't budging an inch. A quarter of a mile down the track, there were half a dozen other trucks in the same predicament. The team decided to pay them a visit. So with a few Russian Bibles and Nana's famous fruitcake, they set off, slipping and sliding to make their introductions. The Bibles and the fruitcake were gratefully received in exchange, of course, for Russian's finest antifreeze, commonly known as vodka. What do you do when the mud is like this and you can't drive, asked Pops. The Russians pointed up to heaven and said, we wait until God brings the sun out. But listen, they became very serious. You must not go around the next village. It's very dangerous after it's been raining. Just carry on straight through the village. The next morning there was a blue sky. Sun was shining and the team got ready to go. Pops asked the lads to take the Land Rover into the village to see if the truck and trailer would be able to go through. Sometimes the houses were so close together and the tracks so bad that it was impossible for the truck to go through the centre of the village. 
The lads were back within half an hour with the news that the ruts were at least two foot deep and it would be impossible for the truck to get through. At that time, the truck had only two wheel drive. Later, it was fitted with four wheel drive and with much higher ground clearance. There was only one way to go and that was around the village. The Land Rover set off first and found the road skirting the village. Clive called up on the CB. Dave, the track suddenly falls down to a bridge over a river. Steep banks on either side of the track, so be careful. Pops told the rest of the team to get as far back in the truck as they could, to put as much weight as possible on the back wheels. The truck started heading down towards the river. If Pops braked, the truck, because of the mud, he would lose control. So he just had to keep going. Pops looked into his mirror, hoping to see just the far corner of the trailer as usual. But the trailer was acting, actually taking up most of his mirror. It was jackknifing and in a few more yards it was going to slip off the track, down the embankment and pull the truck with it into the river. Which of course, because of the rain, was rushing brown torrent. Pops shouted over his shoulder to the team, pray, pray now. Then he heard a booming voice. It had to be be Marcus. Lord, send your angel now. Immediately, they all heard a loud bump on the side of the trailer. Pops looked into his mirror and saw the trailer straighten up and follow the truck as it ought to in a straight line. And then they were on the bridge safe. Pops looked down into the torrent of water below and knew without a shadow of a doubt that again God had kept them. And he worshipped the God who said, Go, and I will be with you always. The only problem now was to drive up the other side. Pops called up Clive on the CB, and he seemed to know what Pops was thinking. No problem, bro. That was one of Clive's favourite sayings. Pops looked up and saw a huge tractor waiting to pull the truck up the bank, which he realised was a lot gentler than the one they had come down. Psalm 40 verse 2 says, He also pulled me out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet on a rock, and established my steps.